Yep, I think starting my video like this proves my point. Okay, so here's something that I would just like to say already. I know that I'm short. That's one thing about being short is everybody loves to tell you that you're short. Like, oh my goodness, Catherine, have you like ever known how short you were? Like, you're really tiny. Like, thank you. Yes, I know I'm short. I've been short my entire life, but thank you for this heads up, this eye-opening information. Thank you. Most appreciate it. Thanks. But you know, being short is not all that bad. You know, like, for like dances and stuff, us short girls, we get to wear these. We get to wear heels. I mean, these aren't the highest of heels, but these were the closest heels I had, but we get to wear heels. And we're still not as tall as the guy that we're with, alright? It's like even, it's like perfect height now. Like, Tall girls don't get that luxury. Y'all get to wear flats. And don't get me wrong, there's some pretty cute flats out there. But we get to wear these. And they look nice. So boom. Also, another pro of being short is that if you're a wimp like me at amusement parks and people and like all your friends are like, hey, let's go on this ride, and you really don't want to, you can just say you're too short to ride that ride. Boom. Problem solved. You can watch everybody else. It's a great time. You can catch up on your Instagram and like Twitter and whatnot. And everybody could just say that the reason why you didn't go on the ride was because you weren't tall enough to go on the ride. And if you're like one of those people that likes rides and you're too short, sorry, it's, it's kind of a con of being short, but hey. Um, another pro about being short is that people do things for us. And I know that's like can get super annoying because it's like, oh, I'm a teen, I'm an adult, whatever. I can do things for myself. But then there's come those times where there's just like a shelf or something that you can't reach at like at the grocery store or something like that. And like you could probably like hop on another shelf and grab it or you could just like reach really hard and like push it down. But you always know there's that one tall person that, like, spots you out right away. And is like, oh, I can help you. And comes and get it. And you're just sitting back like, okay. I can work with this. So another pro about being short is that you never grow out of your clothes. Literally, you don't have to spend money on clothes. I mean, is it fun to spend money on clothes? Yeah, do I like going shopping with my friends? Absolutely, but do I have to? No, because I never grow out of my clothes. I still have clothes from elementary school. I haven't been in elementary school for a long time now, but I can still fit in my clothes in there. It's pretty great. Pretty, pretty great. That means I have lots of money. Just kidding, I'm extremely broke. Another pro about being short is that you blend into crowds. That's right, you see someone you don't really wanna see, you blend into a crowd. You go to school and you see a teacher you don't like, you blend in with a crowd of people. You walk down the street and you see your ex-boyfriend, you go and walk into a crowd of people, or you hide behind a bush, or you squirm behind a tree. They won't see you because you're short. And then once they walk by, you just walk right out from wherever you are because you can and they won't see you and you're short. It's pretty great. Another pro about being short, this is more geared toward performers, but if you're short like me and you like to perform, there is a more than likely chance that you'll be in the front. More than likely chance you'll be in the front because if they put you in the back, you're not going to be seen. And I mean, most youth places want you to be seen, so there is more than likely of a chance that you'll be in the front and you will be seen and you'll be smiling and they'll remember you because you were in like the first like sight of vision or whatever. But yeah, and there's many more pros to being short, but being short, there's also cons. One of those being that a lot of people think that you're younger than your age. You're walking like in the hallway and everybody just assumes that you are younger than you are. For example, let's say that you're a junior, 
you walk down the hallway, they automatically think you're a freshman or a sophomore. It's annoying, but it happens. You can't reach things. And I mean, like, I know, like I was saying before, that most people will reach things for you, but you don't want to live your life like that for, like, the rest of your life. You can do things for yourself. And that's one thing that we can't do is reach other items. Hashtag I hate the top shelves. Another annoying thing is that right now, filming. I'm on my knees. Technically, I'm on my feet, but like I'm on my knees too. And I don't have a tripod at this current second, so I'm using like this like cubby holder. And this really hurts, and I wish I could just sit down, but I can't because I'm too short, and I'd end up like this. And you can't exactly film a video with only like half of your face. Another con about being short is that everyone likes to point it out or they like to make names about it. And like I already said in the beginning of this video, everybody feels the need to point it out. Yes, I know I'm short. I've been 5'1 for a long time. I understand that I am a short human individual. And the names do not help. If I had a dollar for every time that I've been shorty, shorty, very short, 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 just all the different kind of names, I'd be on a yacht right now. Honestly. It's so annoying. But it doesn't really matter if you're short, tall. You all have your pros and cons, and it's life, and you just kind of got to live with it. And you're probably very pretty or handsome if you're a guy. And whatever doesn't matter but it's whatever this is the end of the video bye uh, no wait comment subscribe like share with your friends do what you got to do now bye